According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. So, how do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I know. I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. No promises. But if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. She seems trustworthy. The press are always good in games and TVs and movies and everything. Like in Ghostbusters. Or Die Hard. This guy and man got money. Yeah, buddy. Is there anyone in here? Any moment for me to scan and get money? I mean, no. Oh, I my scanning money. You unruly car. Come on, love. Where's my other bloke going? Plugs up there, which means down there is the other one. Shooting. Next back. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Colonies. What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed it doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. And why did you assume that I'd just I'd come like to know that? more about Pharos? It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, uh, well, I'm sure he's fine. I should be going. As you say, Earthclan, good day to you. Thank you. Good day to me, too. Moreland. Ice controller. Well, I mean, first we'll... Move for this little bit, shall we?
something. I wonder if this lady's general's still gonna be in there. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. Lemoros. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. <laughs> I never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Isn't it? I would have never thought of that. In letting him go. Override success. Take all. Tell me where the quarrying is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. <laughs> She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Nobody lies to me. You've got three this. seconds to come clean. Then I start shooting. The quarrying isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Impossible. The shadow broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the shadow broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about the meeting. Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. I'm a ghost. There's no time to waste. Come on. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. I'm better now. Oh, crumbs, so I've got to get there in a particular amount of time. Now, how? Bag him and tag him. 
Oh, no. Oh, shield. the shadow broker where's fist they'll be here where's the evidence no way the deal's off hey good go I knew I couldn't trust him. Uh, you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? Um, with the Alliance. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The Ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. Don't just auto travel me. I have things that I need to do. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? She can help us. You wanted proof Saren's a traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Which? I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. And In like this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Uh, something of value. And what did you find? Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Yeah. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean. But I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Uh-oh. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. No, no Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Uh-oh. Who the Reapers? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Corps, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The right. Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. You created the Geth. It's not that bad. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. 
I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. Will they believe it? This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. Hmm. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Well, my request. I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Fairness. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Typical. So we've got an Asari as well. Probably need to talk to the Wizard's face. And that would be the consort, do you reckon? Shani, or whatever her name is. Then where is my guys? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yeah. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Understand. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. Wait, the 212? Your wife was serviceman in the Raleigh Batia. I'm Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams. I served in her unit. Chief Williams, it is a pleasure. Nirali spoke of you with great respect. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mr. Batia. Nirali was a good woman. What can we do for you? I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Did I say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Oh, we'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Mm. In the expensive bar over there. What are you saying, Bosker? Why don't you let this guy's wife be very nice? We're trying to use our body for science. Look, boss. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yeah, I am. Your activity's made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I hope so. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're running tests? You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Um... How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Mm -hmm.